Hello, this is Craig from Bitsbox.co.uk. I'm joined by Jeb. Hello. This is a Horus Heresy battle report. This is our first Horus Heresy battle report. I'm playing as my Imperial Fists, and Jab is playing as, as his Mechanicum. We are playing the Fire Tide mission from the first Horus Heresy book from Forge World. So I'll show you the armies, and then we'll begin. Here we have a Archmagus Prime, Hamilcar Barker, his name is, and he is got a lot of pimpage. He uh, is a very nasty man. He's got Paragon Blade, Machinator Array, Abeyant, and lots of toys. We then have three Myrmidon Sectors, and they are each equipped with a Plasma Fusel and a Volkite Charger. Um, we then have two Phalax Units, and they are all equipped with just Lightning Guns. And ten Thralls, who, yeah, have no love, they are just ten Thralls with Laslocks, and then we have a Land Raider, Honored Pylon, who has two twin-linked Las Cannons, um, Auxiliary Drive, and that's about it, I believe. So this is a thousand points of Imperial Fists. Over here I have a five-man support squad with Melt Guns, and they're in a Rhino. I have a five-man Terminator squad with a Plasma Blaster, the Chain Fist and two Combi Melters. Down here is a 10 man Breacher Squad, all with um, Borden Shields. There's two Melter Guns in this squad as well, and they're joined by an Apothecary. They're also joined by a Centurion, who has a Thunder Hammer and Borden Shield and Melter Bombs. And then finally, there's a 5 man Heavy Support Squad with Missile Launchers. So that's a thousand points of Imperial Fists. So this is both the armies deployed. We're using the Clash of the Line deployment from the Horus Heresy book, which is basically an arrowhead deployment. So from these markers here, just coming down diagonally, and the same on the other side. So it's sort of like an arrowhead. So I've got my heavy squad up here. My Terminators are behind the Rhino. And then my Breacher squad with the HQ and the Puffcary over there. And then all the mechanic gun crowded round the Land Raider and Bastion very bravely just hiding up. So as you can guess, I won first turn. So this mission, in each player's shooting phase, we get to put down one of these markers. These markers represent um, a fireball basically, which scatters randomly. And anyone who gets too close to them will suffer strength 5 hits, so I'm sure we'll see them throughout the course of the game. So, we'll begin with turn 1. So, seize the initiative. No. So, into Imperial Fist, turn 1. Okay, so at the end of my movement phase, the Rhino's gone round here. And then these two squads here have just walked forward behind them. So now we'll go into a shooting phase. Now, at the beginning of each shooting phase, each player gets to put down one of these fire markers. So, I'm going to put mine right right here in the middle of mm. Jab's army. Of course it scatters 3d6 inches, so it could, could actually end up going off the board. But, so it scatters, and it's a direct hit. So, so now everything within 6 inches will take a strength 5 hit. 10 hits on the thralls. And two, so that's eight, and they get their regular save. Oh wow, that's their five up. Oh, yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Five, yeah. six up field, yeah. no pains for my thralls, and uh, not a single one, so the five are indeed crispy. So, three hits on the Phalanx, that's three wins. Four up save. All Fast. And on the other squad, uh, two. For up save, bust. Oh, pass. Yeah, we're immune to fire, they are. Fire my five missiles, just at the front of the Land Raider, because you never know. So, hitting on threes. And then sixes to glance. So, nothing. So, I'm going to just run these two squads over here. 
That terminate is two, and the Breacher Squad uh, going five. Uh, leadership seven, I have lost five then. Leadership seven, uh, they have indeed failed. So they shall fall back. And, yep, fall back 2d6. Ah, ten inches. Ten inches. Does not put them off the board, but close enough. Okay, so now these squads have moved forward. And now go into Necronicum, turn one. Regrouping my frules, come on, seven, no, no, they continue to fall back. I believe they have unfortunately ran off the board, and they have indeed. <sighs> wow, so they don't like fire. They do not like fire. So, as you can probably guess, the Mechanicum have moved away from the fire. So, these blacks have gone over here. And these ones have gone over here. And the Land Raider, even though it can't be harmed by it, has of course moved forward. So, now we're going to the shooting phase. And the Mechanicum can now put some fire down of their own. We shall gladly accept. And of course, my stuff is stupidly still quite close together. We are going to attempt to place it there. So, 3d6 scatter. Oh. That's going that way seven inches. So it's enough to still get some terminators. Oops. Definitely got that one. So there. So we've got three boarding marines. Okay, so running on threes. Two. It's two. And a three plus save. Got one fails. That's the mallet. Oh shit. Sure. <laughs> it's about the same point as my frauls. No. <laughs> Puff carry. Oh, of course, um, hang on. I, I also have f f feel no pain. Feel no pain. Nice. So, um, I feel no pain on that marine, as I forgot. But, no. And the two cataphract die. Uh, both wounded, and two pluses, and they're fine. Okay. So Meltagon's actually gone out of squad, which is quite annoying. Okay, one thing that I have completely neglected to mention is that we are using objectives in this mission. Uh, we're using the pieces of terrain as the objective, so the Bastion is an objective. So is the Watchtower. Oh, and also the Shrine. And then these trees are also counts as an objective. So at the end of the game, if anyone's holding these objectives, there'll be a three additional victory points for each one. I thought I'd just mention that. So now we'll continue the Mechanicum shooting phase. Last cannons into the Devastators. Yeah. Uh, heavy support squad. Yet, full ballistic skill because I used the power of machine spirit to uh, make one fine. And they're both two twin linked. So one hits. One hits. Twin linked. And both hit. One beyond twos. <sighs> of course. One. Oh, one dies. I'll see this guy. So, not quite enough for a morale check yet. Right, I completely forget. Yeah. Five inches. And the other scored, three inches. Moves with our jetpacks, two to six inches. Six. So we shall leap. And the other squad. Two six inches. Six. Whoop. And that is my phase done. So at the end of my movement phase, the breacher squad have moved closer to this objective, and the terminator squad still quite close behind them. Of course, we've moved away from the fire. The rhinos move forward, and the special squad have jumped out. And they're hoping to shoot some of these. So that's it for my movement. So now I get to place another fire marker. And I'm going to place it right over there, I think. Place the fire right there. Now it scatters 3 6. So it's quite a way out. So that's 12 inches. Over. That's gone right over here. I don't think anything's in. Okay, so I'll start off by firing the four missile launchers. 
at that squad over there. So, threes to hit, three hits, and twos to wound. So, that's three wounds. I feel no pain, so six up. No. So, one dies. So, over here, I'm going to fire the five metal guns into that squad. No. Hit and on threes. And again, it's twos to win. So four wins. And you feel no pain. No pain. Six up. Wow, one made. Just five, just five of the bolt guns over there can reach that squad as well. So again, hit on threes. And this time we're wounded on fives. No, took us five. So two wins. But you get your regular save. Four up. One need. Six on feel no pain. Oh, he's made it. That's the end of my turn. So now we're going to Mechanicum turn two. Okay, so at the end of a, at the end of a movement phase, these phalaxi have come forward over here. And these ones have also moved forward. And the Land Raider, he's gone over here and he's spewed out these guys. Chosen men forward. But much to my delight, I think this squad possibly going to be dead. So we shall see. So, of course at the end of each shooting phase some more fire is going to come down onto the battlefield. And there's probably no guessing where this one's going to go. <laughs> That's a 3d6 scare. Oh. And you go that way. Nine inches. Which is. There. Hmm. It's my metal gunners. Just misses my myrmidons. Mm. But it will. It will hit the rhino as well. So the two space marines. One freeze. One. And three plus save. Which has failed. Ooh. So one of them's. Been killed by the fire. So yeah, it's not gonna be a good time for this squad, I feel. And the, land, the, the uh, rhino. The rhino can be glanced on a six. No. That's not. Into the rhino. Okay, so two last can shots at a rhino. Neat. Both hit. Strength nine. So that's a glance on the pen. Indeed. Cover save, just firing through the unit. So, glance first, nope. And the pen, nope. Yeah. No glance on no. oh, pen. Sorry. Pen. pen, yeah, so that's a six, so that does yeah. blow up. Sorry, I never remember. That's two, so that will definitely get him, I know that. Oh. Yep, gets him, gets him, and gets him. Okay, so I'll roll for these two. Toughness five. So it'd be fives. So nope. And your marine. It's cold to roll that. No. no. So the rhino is gone. And we'll replace that with a crater. Flew up and is not. Lightning guns into the breaches. One hit. With strength seven, they before, with shred and rending. So just a regular save, which is made. Three phase plasma fusels into the bre breacher squad. We are hitting on twos of this skill five. Oh, wow. two ones there. And we are strength six, AP three. Have we on twos? No wound. No wound. Okay, so I do have six plus and vulnerable from the board and shields, which are completely useless. And I also have a five up, feel no pain, which is not much better. So five die. So yeah, I've got lookouts there on the puff carry. So that squad's been whittled down a bit. Uh, Volkite charges now from the same Myrmidons with our fusillade attack. So all 
hit. Strength 5, AP 5. That's 3 4. 4 wounds. Uh, 3 plus save this time. And uh, 1 fails. You and uh, now get an additional wound if you uh, if it's unsaved, just to tell you from the flat rate. Great. And that is failed. And again, I'm going to have to look out Sir the apothecary. Well, it's going to be sad and you'll have to take it, I suppose. He explodes in flame and uh, another man now suffers a wound. Okay, so... But this doesn't. I get a regular save. Okay. Which has also failed. And feel no pain, which is fine. Okay, so that squad has took a beat on uh, that. So yeah, we shall run them. This Felix squad running four inches. So they're going towards the trees. The trees, which is an objective. This Felix squad running six inches. Why not? Towards the watch towards this one. And now assault phase. As Lanred is not an assault vehicle, we can't assault out of it, so they shall stand there and look pretty. Felix has frost moves. Frost move. Six inches. And why not get them closer? Five. Go around. Uh, so not in the trees, but just there. Not in the trees, never around it. Interesting. Okay, so these guys need to take a morale check on an nine. Which of course they fail. It's a great game for morale check so far. So they are falling back away from the objective. Great. Um, but only four inches. These guys have now fallen back. So now we go into the start of the Imperial Fist turn. And of course, we get to roll three group. Now in the Legion rules, they get to roll their full land leadership when they attempt to regroup. So again, that's nine, and this time it is passed, thankfully. So now I'll go into the movement phase. Okay, so at the end of the movement phase, the Terminator's here. They've moved closer to this squad over here. The regroup squad have just moved forward three inches. And I've just moved the Melagun squad just, just around here. So, get to place another fire marker and I'm going to place this one right here in the trees so it goes that way nine inches so just gets him so okay that's worked out slightly better for me because it does still hit these two and it also hits one of these so I'll start on these two models here and it's a four to win so one win Save four up. Regular save. Passed. It's fine. And then this one over here is also wounded. He is the Myrmidon Lord. I'm not doing lookout, sir. Doesn't really matter much. Uh, free up armor save. It does fail. Indeed. Okay, so the four missile launchers are again gonna fire at this squad here, hitting on threes. And one dice has gone way over there. So two hits. And wounded on twos. So, two wounds. On the Myrmidons, correct? And on, no, no, on the Fairy. On the Fairy. Fairy, get that feel no pain. Feel no pain. Six up. <sighs> no. He is down to one, one wound. So, this Matt Milter gun squad, obviously gonna shoot at the Land Raider. Hit on threes. They all hit. So, it's 2d6 armor pen for each one. So, first one is a pen. Second one is a pen. Third one, that's a nothing. And last one is also nothing. So two pen and tracking hits on the Land Raider. And I'll just roll them both together for the damage table. So it doesn't blow up, unfortunately. So it's just firing snapshots. So I'll fire the two combi melters first at this squad. Hit on threes, so just one, and win on twos, so one wound. Ah, uh, five up in one save. Nope. 
so that is one wound. I'll fire the combi bolters next. They have four shots, twin linked. And because I'm Imperial Fist, I do get plus one Blizzard skill. So I'm hitting on twos. So I roll two ones anyway, of course. And five to wound, so just one wound. Regular save. Twin linked as well. Oh yeah, of course they're twin linked. So, so just hit with another one. And it doesn't wound, so it's still only... Three up armor save. And of course. Four. Yeah. Oh, no, so. No one does go down. So that just leaves the plasma blaster. So two shots from the plasma blaster. Freeze to hit. Just two hits. And then twos to wind. So just a one. Uh, that will be on the Lord. He does have a free up in Van so I'll do it on him. And of course, of course. not. Okay, so these bolters are going to snap fire at these. So that's six shots. At two hits. That's five. So they wound on fives and just a one wound. Four up arm save. Nope. Six up feel no pain. Nope. So there's one wound. Down to two wounds. So I'm going to declare an assault with these at that squad, so you can overwatch. Indeed. Lord shall use his flamer to overwatch, so... Two hits. It's just a normal flamer. So... It's a four and a one. One wound. Six dice. So, two plus save. Which of course has failed. So that is not good. <laughs> Um, I don't think we should roll saves in this general direction because we're both just rolling ones. It's <laughs> going terrible. <laughs> that is, yeah. I think um, new dice for the next video. The two remaining Myrmidons phased plasma fusels. I shall overwatch with. So one hits. Strength six. AP three. But one wound. So I'm gonna roll over here. <laughs> Which is much better, that's a f <laughs> <laughs> Of course, that's knocked a bit off my charge distance. So, so going through cover, so I do need an 8 inch charge. Which, of course, I fail. So, that is not good. Losing that, losing that Terminator there just really, really hurt. So, that's not good as we go into um, Mechanicum turn 3. Right, yep, no. <laughs> Land Raiders Blessed Auto Simulacra on a six. It regains a wound. It does not. Shocking with the Land Raider. Whoa. Okay, so roll my leadership. And of course, we roll nice and low in this area, so that's why I rolled over here. Okay, so but they just move that away. We do yeah. get to earn Barrack Claw, you though. Okay. That strokes all units from two inches of the main hull, not those inside. Inflicts D6 hits. Five hits. That's strength five, AP four, melee rending. Hopefully no sixes. So oh, one six. six. Sorry, one of them will die. Uh, what strength was it? Strength five. Strength five, so another wound there. So three plus save, and it's fine. It's in there. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> so they're moving right onto these. Uh, runs. Yeah, immobilize check. Yeah, no. no. We can have the rest of the movement. These guys have moved up right to the Terminators. And then these guys are, are on the aggressive. They're coming forward. They've got these Devastators in their sight. Or Heavy Support Squad, we should say. Okay, so at the beginning of each shooting phase, of course, place a fire down. But also, any units within six inches of existing fire. We'll also take a hit, so we'll do that now before we forget. Roll for the Lord first. He's tough as six, so he does get wounded. Yep, he has a two up save. That's nice. fine. And four plus on the other two, so another one takes a hit. Free up armor. No. Four hits on the Terminators. So three of them. And two bus saves. And they're fine. 
now another flame mark that gets to be put on the table. Got to put it over there. Ah, that's not a bad idea actually. Three six centimeters. Yep. Ooh. So that that way, but only four inches. Which so that takes it there. Whole Keeps squad. it in range of the squad. And of course, <laughs> these devastators now are going to take a hit every turn, or they're going to have to move. So that's three. Three hits, and I get the arm saves. And one of them dies. So another one. Goes from that squad. Okay, so I've got a couple of um, morale checks to take actually. So yeah, I've just got to take the morale check on these before I forget. And they're fine. Twin linked last cannon into. Okay. Amount of gunners. So twin linked. Nope. And then power the mean machine spirit. That last cannon into. That squad. So hits. And Wins. Wounds. And they have a. Six plus in one, just failed, and of course we won't get no feel, no pain against that. So that squad's really, really being whittled down there. Our two lightning guns into that squad as well. One hits, strike seven, and that is a rending. Okay, so it's, again, six plus in one roll, failed, and I'll get my feel, no pain against that one. Which has passed, luckily. The Myrmidons, they have relentless as well. Yeah, only two left now. So, six phase plasma fusel shots. Wow, that's a lot of ones. God, that is a lot of ones. Good job they hit on twos. Six, so be three. Oh my god. So, two. And of course we're rolling a lot of ones over here, so I'm just going to go over here. And they're fine. Dad's going to roll over here, because... Yeah, I don't can't. like that corner no more. No, that's, that's horrible over there. Volkite charges. Hit on three. No, hit on two, just got three hit. Strength five, eight, five. That's three. Yep. Now two plus saves, and they're fine. Buy his Inferno pistol first. So it hits and it's a precision shot, so I shall aim for the plasma blaster. Okay. Strength 8, DP 1. So they do have a 4 plus in one, which has failed. Blah. Flamer, because he has a Myrmidon auto, he as well as the Myrmidons gets to uh, fire multiple weapons. So. Yep, he shall just hit two. So, that is nothing. So, morale check on the Terminators. And they've failed. No, don't run away. Which, probably, yeah, probably not such a to like. Although, if I don't run away far enough, this could be quite horrible. So, I run away seven inches. So, that's six. And that's seven. So, they've ran back over there. However, if you do manage to assault them... So assault phase, we shall do their thrust move. So they shall move six. Put a thrust and forward. And we shall declare a charge against that unit. Okay, so I do get to overwatch. So it'll be six twinning shots with the commie bowlers. So I will be rolled that one actually because it's cocked. And twin linked. So it gets cocked. Roll away from them. God. Try again, fair time lucky. Nope, so just the one hit. And we wound on five. So one wound. Free up armor save. That's fine. Okay, so. As I go through cover, they need a 9-inch charge. Come on. Of course not. Nine, six. Exactly what I rolled going the other. Okay, so I'm going to attempt to regroup, which they do. Okay, so at the end of the movement phase, these Terminators are bravely running away. They've gone back three inches. This squad here have moved forward. 
and they're gone after these. And I'm going to take a bit of a risk and leave the heavy support squad up there. They will take some hits from the fire, but I don't really want to move them. And then these guys over here have gone to this objective, and they're still quite close to the land raider. So I'll start the shooting phase by taking the hits from these guys. So three hits on the heavy support squad need to freeze. So that's two. And three plus saves. And one does die. And then this squad over here. Do one on the Lord. Nope. And two on the Myrmidons. And no, because they're times five. Yep. So I get to place one myself. And we only have six of these Magas. So I'm going to just take away the irrelevant ones and replace them with a token. As we probably won't go near them now. And I'm going to place another one. I'm going to place one there. Just in case it scares. Oh, so, 3d6 scare. So it's that way. 11 inches. Thank you. So that's probably not going to hurt anyone. Okay, so I'll fire two missile shots at these guys. Hit on three, so one hit. And we've got twos. So, yep. Yeah. Six up. Feel no pain? Nope. So, the lead one, you only had one wound left, is indeed dead. So, four shots snap firing from the Terminators onto him. They're twin linked. Wow, so all four. I'm glad I'm filming this. And wounded on fives. So again, another, another two sixes in there. What's with you and sixes? I don't know, but I don't seem to roll to save. For Obama, bust. Oh. So some good roll in there for both of us. Okay, so hopefully I'll get some sixes now with these melters. So two of them are in melter range, but one's just out. So I'll roll the two first. One hits. And 2d6 armor pen. That's a pen. And the other melter gun hits. Nope. So just one pen of. That's a 4, so that'll take up to 6, so that will be immobilized. So that is immobilized, and it's down to 1. It gets to, on a 4 up due to its auxiliary drive, ignores the immobilized result. I'll just have a check that. Yep, this is roll of 4 plus, but at the, my movement phase, so. Oh, okay. Four bolt pistol shots from this squad at them. In on twos. <laughs> and wounded on fives. So, nope, nothing from there. Okay, so we've just got a couple of leadership checks to make. Go fast with this guy. Come on. So he's fine. And then these guys are also fine, thankfully. <sighs> so I'm going to declare a assault here, so you get to overwatch. Sixes, no. Okay, so I literally just need three inches, and I get five, so I'll just put them over there. So. These two guys and the apothecary are going to attack first. They have seven attacks between them. Hit on freeze. That's pretty good. But we'll be wounding five. on fives. So, three wounds. For our armor. Two, so one wound. So I'll just reduce him down to one. Okay. And then you get to attack back. Yes, I'll do two each. Cool. Two attacks each, I have blur. Yep, so that's four to hit. Indeed. That's three hits. Wow. Strength Wait, five. Strength five, so three. Two. Um, Eight did nothing. Two armor saves. Oh, that's not good. Although I do have feel no pain. Oh, I have both sixes. So, I have feel no pain as well. <laughs> 
Oh, yes. Oh, did you want to I'll just quick tell me through my pain because I completely yep. forgot. Six up. Yeah, so no, it's still pretty good. Okay, so now the Naval Centurion gets to do his attacks. Okay, so the Centurion has four attacks on the charge, hitting on threes. Oh, so one hit. Eek. That's not good. Okay, so there's a two to wound. And you get your feel no pain. Six up, feel no pain. Oh, nearly. And we shall take it on the other guy. Yep. So I'll try to ship it on my right one. Uh, minus two because they both took a wound. Oh, yeah. Stubborn, man. Oh, they're stubborn. Ah, right. oh, cool. So just regular. The only thing not on my army stubborn is my fools. Cool. So do ship. Yep. And they're fine. Cool. Okay, so now we go into Mechanicum Town 4. Okay. Uh, no, it doesn't regain really a wound. Okay, does he, um. He can also ignore his, um. Immobilized as well on a four up. Four up. Oh, of course not. <laughs> Um, it will not die, oh my lord. Oh, it's going to win. See, it's unhurt. Okay, so in the movement phase, the lord has disengaged himself from this unit. And they have all moved forward, as to as this guy over here. So, now this guy is um, just within six inches of the smoke, so he'll take a win. Yeah, yep. Which he does. Free up save. Yes. And he makes it. And of course, maybe I should have moved on, but too late now. Uh, they take two hits, so both wounds. And I'm going to regret rolling here. And another one bites for dust. So they're going whittled away, away by fire. Quite unfortunate. Another fire might come down. We'll yeah, probably we'll take, that one. take that one off. So, Jad now gets to place some more fire. I'm going to place it over here. That's actually an even smarter idea. So, the fire's been placed over here. But oh, it must it's gone way out. 14 inches. So, so that's yeah. way out. It's there. So, phase plasma fusels onto the terminators. All hit. Strip six. Three, four, five wounds. Five wounds, and that's regular save? Yeah, because it's only AP3. Or oh, two plus, so they're fine. Volkite charges. Twos. Fits. Strength five. So that's two. two. Ah, they're fine. Worth a try. The uh, Phalex Eyes Lightning Gun onto Terminators. Hits. A shred of rending, so thank goodness. <laughs> so just a wound, strength 7, 8, 5, 2 plus 6, fine. And the Lord, an Inferno pistol, hits, it is a precision shot. Um, not that Naz, I will go for that guy there. So not to reduce my range. Uh, strength 8, AP1. So they do get there in one of all, which failed. So that. That's not good. Not even good for these time mates, mate. Lamer. It's a boat. Hits on both. And a boot. And what do you say? It's fine. Land Raider. Shall fire its las cannon into them. To unlinked. Hits. Who's, yeah. um, one bite of dust. Okay, so I have several leadership tests coming up. Last cannon, power machine spirit into the last heavy support man. Hits and kills. But he does, get, he does get a four up cover save. Which has failed, so the heavy support squad are now no more. Hmm. Red Hill, full lonely. I'll check time. I'll start on the Terminators. They've actually failed. Why? They do not want to be charged this turn. So they go back. Six inches. I need to stop killing them with ranged. Yeah, if you want to charge them, just don't shoot them because the that scares them. And um, these guys need leadership as well. And they're fine, thankfully. 
Felix, I shall attempt to Okay, charge. so I'm going to obviously have to overwatch you. Yep. So, one hit at the 29th. So, two hits and fives to wound. So, nope. So, he needs a 10 inch charge. Come on. Oh, no, and of course not. The Lord shall attempt to charge. I think it's 12. It's 12, 12 so yeah. yeah. Sixes, so it's worth a go. <sighs> no, of course not. You got one six. Between the two. Yeah. Um, you go first, then. Yep, so that's um, two attacks from the apothecary and two from the regular guys. So, hitting on threes, so one hit. And we're on fives, which, nope. The one that is not concussed. Yeah. Alright, two attacks. One. Five. So one regular arm save, which failed, and feel no pain, which has also failed, so one does die. And now the thunder hammer, hit on freeze, and wound on twos, so two wounds. Six up, feel no pain. Ooh. So he lost a wound, and of course he gets his attacks as well. Yep. Come on. That's two, two wounds. wounds. Oh, and both failed again. Come on. So feel no pain as nope. So and I'll take I'll just take one of them on the um Centurion. So Centurion's no down to one wound. And it's not looking too great here. And I did um lose for combat as well. Yep. So leadership is now eight. So failed. And I can be over... No, I cannot make sweep uh, in advance. you cannot sweep in advance. So, this... My cowardly... Cowardly Imperial Fists are running away six inches. Keep running, Space Marines. <laughs> so, yeah. My four remaining four. <laughs> Imperial Fists have all decided to run away. I think... Oh, no, I do have six, all. sorry. Let's me not forget. So I have six. I have six marines left. As we go into this final turn, so four of which are, have been running away, and two are on this objective. So we go into a final turn. Turn five. Okay, so time for regrouping, which they do. Discord here. Do not. So they continue to fall. And only four inches. So, this army is obviously led by Brave Sir Robin there. That will be his new name, because he is just continuing to run away. Okay, so this Mammon is still within six inches of the fire. So, one wound on him, which. Yep. I'm going so to look out Sir, because he is actually the captain. I shall actually do it this time. Okay. So. Yes, look at third. And he gets saved. And three up on a save, which has failed. Failed, so one of them does die. That's from a fire, which is causing a lot of havoc in this game. And speaking of which, I now get to place another one. This guy's in range. Oh, and that guy's also in range. So one on him, which no. So yeah, I now get to place another fire. Have to be there, I'm afraid. So 3d6 scatter, which is this way, 10 inches. So 10 inches towards my Terminators. <laughs> yep. <laughs> okay, so this game's going brilliantly. The fire is scattered towards my Terminators. So if you'd like to do the honours. I shall indeed. Two strength, five hits. And I'm uh, safe. Of course, <laughs> one of them burns alive. And this is the way this game is going. And another leadership test in my own shooting phase. So yeah, and... Um, <laughs> These guys over here just stayed there, so they're going to attempt to try and finish this land raider off once and for all. So, two melted gun shots, both hit. So, 2d6 armor pen. Actually, one of them was out of range, so. Or um, melter. One's out of melter range, so. Where does he make So, one 2d6 armor pen. So, that's a pen, so he is dead. 
and then the other one, nothing. So we'll just see if he explodes, which he doesn't. So the Land Raider is finally gone. Not that it's going to make much difference at this stage of the game. Okay, so these two will snap fire their pistols at this squad. So one does hit. That's a five to wound, which no. And then this this guy over here, who's the last one alive after his friends got barbecued, is going to snap fire um, at this Myrmidon here, I think. So six, twin linked. Nope. So he now needs to do a leadership test. Which is fine. Okay, so now we go into Mechanic on Town 5. So, the Lord and this Mammonons move forward. This guy's over here has just gone to this objective. And these guys are still on this one, but they've just moved slightly more forward, so they're in range to shoot these. So now we go into a shooting phase, and again, I'm going to take a fire hit on my poor Terminator squad. From this one. So, on a three? No. So no, he's, he's actually fine. However, Jab may get no, to place another one, and <laughs> <laughs> surrounding this poor Terminator with fire. That is not a good sight for him. However, it, gets, it does first scatter, hopefully over this way. There's a direct, oh, hit. a direct hit, and finally, it will set this whole piece of terrain alight. That hasn't happened in this game yet, but it now has. So this whole piece of terrain now counts as dangerous, and of course he still takes a hit. Hit. Hits. And one. his save is fine. I was well expecting a one then, because the luck has not been good for these guys. Phase plasma fusels. Strike six, AP three, two. Okay, so I'll take the first one on the apothecary. Carry fails and feel no pain. Also fail, not looking good. And then the second one. Oh, he's got two wounds. No, he only he had the one. one. Oh. Yeah, and he's fine. He's got two. Well, he had two wounds, so now he's only got the one. So I think my warlord is probably going to Volkite die. charger and the warlord. One hit. Strength 5, AP 5. If you save. And he's failed. So he has died. So that's Warlord Kill. The Martian Ray Weaponry has incinerated her. Let's see if we can consistently burn him. <laughs> oh no. Phew. So Volkite Serpenter. The Lord. Hits. Strength 5, AP 5. Yes. And he's fine. I'm to fry him with lightning instead. Lightning guns. One hits. Come on, rending. That is a wound, okay? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm being telephoned. Which he passes. Okay, so. This Phalex's lightning gun hits. That's what I want to see for wounding. No, but still wound. Okay, so again. Save, and he's fine. Assault. He has moved through cover, thank goodness. Ah, oh, of course. No. But he doesn't have fleet. You get to, get to overwatch that. Ah, oh, yes, I do, of course, get my overwatch. So, from that range, I get two shots. One does hit, and it's twin linked. And five to wound, I believe. Oh, it's tough for six. Oh, is it? Yeah, yeah. It's a six, so yeah, no, nothing. Okay. So, we'll probably leave it at that. Because there's just no way back for me. Jab has these two objectives. And he also slayed the Warlord. So he gets a total of 7 points. I have this rear objective here. So I get 3 points for that. And I get my 1 point for first blood. So it finishes. Mechanicum 7. Imperial Fists 4. So handshake for that. Thank good you very game. much. Good game. Very good game. Okay, so we're going to do a quick little post game I think. Just for this one. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that game as much as we enjoyed playing it. We just thought we'd do a little post game because um, this is the first time we've played any Horus Heresy games using the Legion rules and the Mechanicum rules. So if there are rules we've got wrong, we just apologise. We we have noticed several that we did get wrong throughout the game, but we've tried our best to try and correct them. Um, it's been really enjoyable. The fire seems to have changed the game oh, quite yes. a lot. 
I've lost a lot of models to the fire. Of course, Jab did straight away. Took a lot of wounds. My Myrmidons took quite a beating. Yeah. Trolls just got burnt straight away. And yeah, I really enjoyed, enjoyed that. I really thought the um, special support squad would have died quite easily, but they were sort of ignored a little bit, and the more expensive stuff was was killed. The Townmates were very unlucky. They kept running away. It would have been nice if we had had a combat with the Myrmidons and the Lord and the Terminators. I think that would have been quite nice, but unfortunately it just never happened. So, but, yeah, so that's an enjoyable game. We'll hope to do some more Horus Heresy games in the future. Oh, yes. We'd really like to do a campaign with them as well. And we are working on doing a regular 40k campaign, which um, you can look forward to over the coming months. So, I'll see you in the next video, and before we go, we're just going to take a little moment to remember the fallen Frau from this mission who died and ran away in the first turn.